So in this video, we're going to talk about percents and percentage change, and we're going to do some problems regarding those. So to give my mini lecture, not really a lecture, just some reminders, hopefully. A percentage, what, why do we even use that in the real world? A percentage is nice to describe a ratio. It's always in terms of 100. So 25% could mean 25 over 100. Or 40% is 40 over 100. So that's a nice way to represent a ratio. So 1 fourth is also 25%. If you divide through 1 divided by 4, you would get 0 0.25. And then whenever you get the decimal form to convert to a percentage, just multiply it by 100. So you move the decimal place twice to get 25%. 25 over 100, this should be more obvious. If you divide, you move the decimal twice this way. That's why it's 0.25. And then you move it back twice if you multiply it by 100. Obviously, if you multiply it by 100, the 100s would cancel, so you get 25%. So, as I was saying, it's nice because when you have some not as nice numbers, this is not too bad, still 35 over 140, this is also 25%. It's a quarter. It's also 0.25 if you do the division. So, now this one's not as clear. It's, again, not too bad since if you write it down, then it's quite clear. But maybe in your head, it's not as, you might take a few seconds to compute that. Oh, this is a quarter. 141 over 564. This is also 25%. So if you just say 25%, then you get an idea that it's a quarter right away. Instead of saying, oh, 141 people out of 564 people. Then you have to quickly do the math in your head. Versus if I just said a quarter of the people or 25%, then you already know right away. Uh, or you can kind of like visualize what 25% is and what that is in the context of your conversation. Okay, so that's really what a percentage is. Now percent change, you got to be careful for this. A lot of the times people don't get the formula correct. It's percent change. The keyword here is change. To so find a percentage change, you would take the final value minus the initial value or the reference value and you divide it by initial value. Multiply by 100 to make it a percentage. Okay, so here's some easy examples to illustrate percentage change. One versus one. There's no change, right? So there's zero percent change, or zero, one is zero percent greater than one. It's the same, so you would expect zero percent change. Versus two is 100 percent greater than one. Okay, two is double one. So if one is 100 percent, then you add another 100%. So that's why is 100% greater. So the 200% minus 100%. So the common mistake is you do 2 divided by 1, then, oh, it's 200% greater. That's not right. Because you have to take into account the word change. So it's with respect to the initial value of 1. Okay? So that's the whole idea to be careful of when it's percent change. It's with respect to the initial not like the absolute numbers, okay? Okay, now let's do some problems. Which the following is equivalent to 0.03% of 4. This one should be quite self-explanatory, so go ahead and try this one first. Okay, so we're going to translate this. 0.03% of 4, so of is multiply. So we're going to multiply before, let me just put it in parentheses. What's 0.03%? So, that would just be 0 0.03 of a hundredth. For example, if it's 3%, it's 3 over a hundred. So you're just going to put whatever the value is here over a hundred. Okay? So what would this be? This is 0 0.12 over a hundred. 0.03 times 4 is 0 0.12. Okay? So this is, we have to add two more zeros. 0 0.0012. As you see, 1 out of 400 is how much percent? So go ahead and try this one real quick. So as a percentage, it's 1 over 4. And then we are going to, or let me write like this, 1 over 400 is the same thing as 1 over 4 over 100, okay? Or this is 0 0.25 over 100, okay? 
Why do I want to do this? Well, to make it a percentage, we're going to do the division and then multiply it by 100. So 1 over 400, I don't want to do the division, is equivalent to this. So 0 0.25 over 100 times 100%. The hundreds would cancel, so you get 0.25%. Okay, answer is A. So you could have just divided 1 into 400. That's not too bad, actually. And then you multiply it back by 100. Since I know that to make it a percentage, I need to multiply the decimal value by 100. Let me write it in terms of a fraction of 100. And then multiply it by 100, the hundreds would cancel. Okay. The quantities x and y are positive. If x is decreased by 20% and y is increased by 20%, then the product of x and y is what? So go ahead and try this one first on your own. Okay, the answer should be B. Did you get that? You gotta be a little careful here. If you go shopping a lot, then you might have you might do this very often. So especially like there's a 20% off sale or a 30% off sale, things like that, then you'll be very familiar with how to do this. Okay, so if X is decreased by 20%, so that's like 20% off sale. So how much of X is left if it's decreased by 20%? There's 80% left. Okay, so X minus 0.2X. That's what's happening. X is decreased by 20%. So X minus 0.2X, that is 0.8X, or 80% of it is left. So we convert that as 0.8X. That's the first term. Now, Y is increased by 20%. We can write that as 1.2Y. Why is that? Well, Y, we have that, and then we increase it by 20%. So what's 20% of Y? That's 0.2 times Y. So Y plus 0 0.2 times y is 1.2y. And again, if you go shopping a lot, this is um, should be a piece of cake for you. Like for example, if, not too often nowadays, but let's say there's a, if you swipe a credit card, there might be an extra 1% fee or 3% fee, something like that. So you multiply their final value by 1.03 to add the additional 3% to get your actual amount you need to pay. Okay, so what would this get us? Then product of x and y is, is how is it shown, how do we decrease it by 4? Or how do we show that it decreased by 4? 0.8 times 1.2. What is that? That is 0 0.96, and then we have xy. So xy, there's only 96% of it left. So that's why it's decreased by 4%. Okay. Next. By what percent? is this greater than this? So go ahead and try this one first. Remember what I said in the beginning of the video. Okay, so this is asking percent change, so be careful. If you just divide through, then you would get five, so you might be tempted to get circle 500%, but it's actually 400% because you didn't take into account the final minus initial. Okay, so let's do it the proper way. Final is um, this one, 4.5 times 10 to the fifth, minus initial, 9 times 10 to the fourth, divide by the initial, 9 times 10 to the fourth. This would get you 4, so 4 times 100%, that is 400%. Okay, once again, if you just divided these two, you would get 5, but remember, my simple examples, 2 is not 200% greater than 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2, but you had to subtract the initial 100% of this guy. Okay? So that's why you would subtract 100% to get 400%. Okay, so uh, you could do it that way, but you just got to remember to subtract the 100%. Otherwise, I would just do it the final minus initial, divide by initial. Okay, number 5. The temperature increased from 60 degrees to 72 degrees. What is the percent increase in temperature. So go ahead and try this one. All right, so again, increase from this to this, the final minus initial over initial. So what is that? That's 12 over 60, which is a fifth. So increase by 20%. Okay. 
This year's enrollment in Mesa School District is 6,000, which is 20% higher than last year's. What is last year's enrollment in Mesa School District? So go ahead and try to set this one up and solve it first on your own. Okay, so we're gonna basically translate this sentence right there. This year's enrollment, 6,000, is 20% higher than last year's. So if we say last year's enrollment is x, it's 1.2x, 20% more. Or we can do it the slow way, it's x plus another 20%. That's why it's 1.2. So last year's enrollment is 6,000 over 1.2. So we can write it as 60,000 divided by 12, which is 5,000. Or 50,000, sorry. Actually, is it? It should not be 50,000. How could it be that? It's 5,000. <laughs> this is only 6,000 this year. Okay. Last one. 125% one of x is 80, and x is n percent of 400. What is the value of n? So go ahead and try to set this one up first on your own. Okay. 125% of x, so that's 1.25x, is equals 80. So that means x is 80 over 1.25. 1.25 is 5 fourths, so 80 over 5 fourths, which is 80 times 4 fifths. What is that? That is 13 times 4. No, sorry, not 13, 16 times 4, which is 64. Okay, so now let's use this guy. x is n percent, so n over 100 times 400, because of 400. x is 64. Okay, by the way, these can cancel to 4. Okay, so 4n is 64, n is 64 over 4, which is 16, and that's your answer. Okay, that's it for this problem set. So once again, the key idea is um, percent change is final minus initial over initial. Okay, and then percent uh, increase and decrease, if it's uh, increased by some percent, is 1 plus that percent. Okay, so like 1.2. Okay, and if it's decreased, then it's 1 minus that percent, so 0.8. Okay, things like that. And again, maybe you can practice percentages by going shopping. Buy, um, go, um, you don't really have to buy it, you could just see... Go to a store that has like price scan or something, um, and then check for something that's on sale. Um, and then if, let's say it's fifty percent off, then you can um, fifty percent is a little easy. That's half, maybe seventy five percent off. Then you can go try and calculate. You can just use a calculator. That's totally fine. The price times 0.25. That should be the final price of the item after the seventy five percent discount. So maybe you can go to like Target because when they do like the clearance, I don't know if you like Target, now I'm going off topic, but um, they have those clearance stickers usually with the uh, percentage markdown and like one of the corners and the final price. So you can try yourself to see if you get it right. If it's like 30%, you should multiply the original price by 0.7 and you should get the final price on the price tag. So you can practice like that if you like going to Target and all that. All right. Enough of that. Hopefully this was helpful. Please like and subscribe as always if you found this helpful in any way. And in the next video, please be on the lookout for, uh, I guess we're still on percentages, but uh, in equations now. So hopefully you'll see you in that video. Bye.